Welcome back to Super Sentai Review, episode 158. We're discussing episodes 33 to 36 of Go Ranger. Yes. Now, if you're curious though, do you have any like debut of like you know, characters per se, or new concepts? Not really. Now, in the first episode, we have basically the by the way the monsters these ones are for these four episodes are things like blue flower mask. Yeah, that was one of them. It is um an Iron Princess Mask, yes, there's a name. Blushing Mask, Steel Mask, and Warship Mask. Yeah, that's basically so Iron Princess Mask basically is trying to steal these hundred carat blue diamonds to power this laser device to destroy this plasma lab. And well, in order to make sure that the Gold Ranger is something attention to them, they framed them for their crimes! And they're going to point out, yeah, we have nothing to do with this. And at this point I, I found this really interesting though. The officer investigating them is the guy who later played Mason on Bioman. A decade later. I'm not kidding about that, it's the same actor. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> so eventually of course they do, in fact play their name, and of course protect the only surviving guy of all can. So Black Rose is like, okay, we we, we need to get out a, a, a diamond, like, oh, let's smuggle it in and he uses the fire, but they could think this is for anyway. It is pointed out that this lab was destroyed. Pretty much all Tokyo's destroyed. That's pretty much what it is. And there's a reason for it. And they do eventually they destroy the device and of course the hit this funny little joke Iron Prince is not a mass posing as a a snack shop owner. Which of course that uh, that goat that that the Red Ranger uses points out that yeah, you're you're him. <laughs> yep. I thought it was quite funny. Mm -hmm. Yes. Blushing Mask. Now here's the thing about Blushing Mask. Uh, the events of episode 34 does mildly influence episode 36. Now, their thing is they want to I put this, find a way to get their hands on a particular device. Because of course they have a thing where they have to steal devices. So, yeah, a place that is happy and of course he's ambushed, the creature flush right to attack, and where's his white mask cover, it's like, well, circuitry, and it's at one point for finding Ye Yellow Ranger, he ends up becoming an assistant, he makes him hurry, and we suspect that he's going to have to spy for what he actually is. Yeah, this actually is the first thing they confirm one of the monsters is definitely a freaking robot. Yep. Though, though, basically, it doesn't get sort of very young. Oh, it gives you curious. Is the other angel mad at him for giving him? Yes. Yes, she is. But what about 35, you might ask? Well, 35 is, to put the baby, is something quite interesting. You know, it is the... The Condon War Bomber Fleet. Now, the thing starts to put interesting with this one. We have Iron Man masked Gerald Tungeon, where he is about to be executed by Steel Mask. He's about to be executed, and then we see the Pure, the, the Black Cross Pure. Outside of their base, I believe this was the first time he's ever seen outside of his base. Because normally when you see him, usually he's into the base, and, and just in front of his like, cross or whatever, have his hands like this the whole time. Yeah, for some reason he's like this. And yeah, he apparently some of these flying machines. I technically the person who had the one of these I think this is the first time that, that at this point in time that they had fighters for the the main villain fran uh, the main villain team. The 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 villain organization. Now this is something will be a common thing in the layer sometimes once I've seen like like Jack, Bowser J. Like all of four, this is the first time they ever did it. So at one point in the episode we have it where Mondo, we have where, uh, we have where Green Ranger gets injured, 
and he's basically like dying. They're lucky enough that Yellow Ranger and Blue Ranger are searching for him. They do eventually find later on for this one to search. He was giving you this turn very end, but it's a very interesting episode of this one. 36, like I mentioned with the 34, this mildly influences. Now, we start out basically we have yellow, blue, we have green and yellow rangers. They on patrol at this laboratory as a blueprint for this, for, this, for this new rocket engine. Now, apparently, while they're on duty, apparently, yellow ranger, because he likes to do curry, orders a special large curry dish. He can eat it, and for some reason, he starts falling asleep. The, in case you're curious, though, whether it was a drug, it's possible they didn't really go into it at all. It just, it's like this is a plot thread that just is there, and for some reason, it's completely forgotten about the idea by, by, by the scenes of this. And, of course, the only thing met himself, and he just runs to randomly, like, the beautiful one about to fall off the cliff. Turns this one's actually a cyborg. Yeah, I mean, Cyborg Q. Yes, a robot spy. Something we're going to reuse in Denji Man. And it was actually used in some book with the Dark Q. This is Cyborg Q. Yeah, this is something that we we'll reuse later on, but it's not something that... It, it, so you, you can definitely say Go Ranger tends to be, you know, it's the start of the franchise. But like, you can see aspects of this series is reused in the time. Like, the... the the flight, the basically the, the personal sh the fire jets of the organization. That's one. Uh, another thing is this between the cyborg spies. Yeah, and apparently that she had the blueprint on all along. Oh, by the way, the plane is going to use these rockets and just take it out and it causes the fucking fly. And we have these second time, I think it's so row we see the, the Black Rock Fury at the base, and he's basically inside the flying machine, inside the flying battleship. And the way to beat the thing is by using special weights, thanks to Yellow Ranger's little control device. And eventually, the ship, the warships, is easy to it, yeah. I saw this guy like, what the heck is this? He looks like a fucking battleship on his fucking head. <laughs> and he is by far the most goofiest looking monster I've seen so far. It looks like ten compared to this at this point. Though I've seen it where apparently one of the monsters is called Ribcage Mask. I am not kidding. Frickin' Ribcage Mask. They come with the most bizarre names of these monsters. Yep, and eventually he's defeated. Uh, Cyborg Team Return Good. She was killed by the end of the episode. And of course, the Flying Fortress is destroyed, which is basically a action. And they get transported to the early version of the fighters. And that's pretty much the four episodes of Mech Chat. Good episode, and I would probably say, if you think about it, I would probably say 35 is more of a, not exactly a Wolf Conquer episode per se, just, hey, let's find a way to kill off the Go Rangers. Yeah, that was simply the reason for it. Yep. But yeah, that's pretty much it for some of you. Uh, stay tuned for this episode. We're going to come up to an app that we usually turn this thing out. They need to do it.